Good evening, my fellow Americans. I'm Eunice P. Justice, and I'm honored to have been asked to yet again deliver the state of the uterus. It's very powerful to see the president leave an empty seat in his box as a tribute to the victims of gun violence. Conversely, in 2016, my box is full of uninvited guests. Tonight, I'm here to report the state of the uterus is occupied but I will set forth a bold agenda to change that in 2016. I will work alongside Debbie Wasserman Schultz to make sure that in 2016, the uterus is seen and talked about even less than the Democratic debates. But before I continue, I want to take a moment to congratulate Paul Ryan on his new job as Speaker of the House. He is indeed a unifier and must have worked our but not on the weekends, bringing conservatives and extremists together in their mutual hatred of Planned Parenthood. Now, we can't talk about the state of the uterus without talking about the environment. We all witness the devastating effects the California drought has had on the fetus harvest of 2015. But in a reversal of that trend, the governor of Maine announced just last week that entrepreneurs in the pharmaceutical industry named D-Money, Smoothie, and Shifty will impregnate half of the white girls in the state of Maine, putting us back on track to see a fetus surplus in the first trimester of 2016. Now, I realize it's ambitious and costly to end this massive uteri occupation, and I know I can't go at it alone. I need your help to achieve it. So tonight, I ask that you join me in taking a cue from the inspiring patriots in Oregon so together we can take our reproductive wildlife refuge back from the federal government. I look forward to working with President Obama in the next coming months on sensible legislation for my chamber and anything else with a chamber. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of the uteri.